Hi everybody, welcome back to the Master Flow Plumbing YouTube channel. Today we are in the Master Flow Plumbing World Headquarters and we're going to discuss the differences between hex pipe and copper pipe. Before we begin though, I'd like to ask you guys to go ahead and click the subscribe buttons right down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen. A little red button, all you gotta do is click on it right there, it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, so let's go ahead and begin today's video. I commonly get asked by my customers what is better is PEX pipe better than copper pipe is copper pipe better than PEX pipe we'll get to the answer and what I think about that at the end of this video but for right now let's go ahead and just talk about the differences so this is a piece of PEX pipe um, this is a, a piece of three quarter inch PEX pipe and this would be or used for the main water distribution in just about any home across the country um, same thing with this three quarter inch copper pipe. It basically works the same way. It's all in how it goes together. And uh, I'm going to talk about the biggest differences. As, as a master plumber, I'll tell you what I like and don't like about PEX pipe. Um, it's, it's easy to work with. It's easy to cut. It's easy to put together. Um, it can be very quick to put together. So those are some of the pros about it. Uh, some of the some of the cons about this type of pipe is that the fittings go on the inside of the pipe right here So plumbers have traditionally always measured pipe by the inside diameter not the outside We measure it from the inside diameter So that inside opening is supposed to be three quarters of an inch and you can see here that there is a little bit of a difference on there But PEX and copper are not equal when it comes to that so what happens when you have a piece of three quarter inch PEX and you put a three quarter fitting onto the inside of it like this, what happens? It reduces the water flow through it. So unless you have exceptional water flow in your area or in your home, if you have a well that puts out a lot of water pressure and a lot of water flow, maybe that won't be a big deal to you. Um, it causes problems for sprinkler systems at times. A lot of times when I do a sprinkler tap for a customer, we will come off of the well tank directly without going through any of this because it is very difficult for the sprinkler companies to get the well pump to actually stay on while the sprinklers are running if there's any restriction through there. We can probably talk about that in another video, but one of the other things that I commonly see that is a, is a con to PEX pipe is the plastic fittings. Now this particular plastic fitting isn't so bad because it's got some reinforcement right here. But I have over the years seen a lot of plastic PEX fittings that have cracked and flooded homes. I, you know, if you're going to use plastic fittings, and this is definitely the cheapest way to go, then, well, you need to make sure that you don't have any kind of tension on them. Uh, make sure that they're, you know, you don't just put this together and then, you know, just brief on the pipe because you want to pull it over there and you're putting a lot of excessive force right there because eventually it's going to crack and break. So that's one of the downsides to it. Um, I would recommend if, if you know the, the money is not too much of a factor, go ahead and use the brass PEX fittings. They're way stronger. I've never seen one of these crack and break, uh, but the, you know they work the same way. They go on the inside of the pipe right there, and then you have a ring that goes over it like this. It's a little tight, but it goes all the way over here like this, and then a tool is used like this. And we're not going to get into how you do with the PEX pipe, but this is the tool. Okay, and it basically just goes on basically like this. And you can see the, these tools can be rather cumbersome, and I'm going to talk about that in just a moment. But basically, once you have it on there and that ring in place, you're just going to crimp it. I usually give it a couple of those like that just to make sure. And then you also want to make sure that your, your crimping tool is calibrated properly too. And there is a gauge that is used for that to make sure that you are indeed crimping it properly. So again, we're not going to get into that a whole lot today, but that is actually how PEX pipe works. And that is basically the only tool you need to, to put it together um, other than a pair of cutters, you know, to cut the poly pipe or the uh, PEX pipe. And I say poly because poly pipe cutters are what we use usually to cut PEX. Um, you could use other things. I guess you could use a sawzall if you needed to, um, if that's all you have lying around. Uh, one more con with PEX piping is that these tools, you can see how it has to open up and go on there. And this is actually a smaller compact version of this. Um, the shorter these get, the harder they are to actually operate. You know, so the longer they are, the easier they are, but the longer they are, the harder they are to get into tight spaces. So a lot of times PEX pipes get put together 
before they get put up into the home um, whenever possible I, you know in tight areas that is usually the preferred method of doing it uh, I guess one more of the pros on this if you live in a colder state like I do I'm in Michigan here and we get some pretty extremely cold weather in the winter time uh, PEX pipe is a little more forgiving with freezing it will stretch quite a bit we don't see a lot of this stuff break we see the fittings break pipe itself actually doesn't break too often when it freezes on uh, the brass fittings they can break uh, it's not as common as it is with copper pipe if they do get cold so basically that is the pros and cons of PEX pipe now let's talk about copper for a minute so copper obviously is a little harder to work with uh, you need tubing cutters to cut it you need a special cutter to cut it um, you could cut it with a sawzall again, you know, if you needed to. I guess you could get by with whatever you had, but a professional is never going to do that. They're going to use a tubing cutter. Uh, you need to know how to solder. Um, we've actually created two videos that will talk about, you know, how to solder copper pipe together. So if you decide to go this route, you can actually look at those videos and, and, and maybe give it a practice run before you ever try it and see if, you know, you can, you can actually do that. Some people can, some people can't. Uh, so one of the other advantages of copper pipe would be is that the fitting goes on the outside of the pipe. Well, this fitting is real tight, but yeah, there it goes. So it goes on the outside of the pipe. So what that means is it leaves that inside diameter fully intact. So you're going to get the best possible water flow in your home with copper piping, you know, versus PEX piping. So that is one clear advantage to it. Um, Again, it's a lot harder to work with. Uh, one of the cons would be, again, in the winter time, this stuff splits pretty easy. If you got water in here and uh, it gets cold enough and it, and it freezes, it will split and can cause some flooding. Um, that's basically the two differences between them. Now, I told you at the end of the video I was going to talk about which one I thought was better. They both have their place in the world. Uh, I, I, I can't really say which one is better and which one's not. I guess it depends on the application you're going to use. Um, I prefer copper. That's my own personal preference, but that's all that is. It's just a personal preference. As a plumber, I was trained. When I started in this profession, there was no such thing as PEX pipe. So I actually have the skill that is necessary to actually use copper pipe for any plumbing job. PEX pipe can be used to do repairs um, and it can be useful in that and there are times where I've done this to where like if you can't let's just say you can't solder copper okay well we got the old shark bite fittings well the problem with shark bite fittings sometimes is you need to be able to get the pipe to be able to spread apart let's say there's two pieces of pipe like this let's just pretend they're both copper and you got to get that fitting in there and you got to spread that apart well that, that can be pretty difficult so PEX can actually give you some options with that they actually make PEX that comes in a coil this was a rigid piece but they make it comes in a coil and it's a little more flexible than what this stuff is and it would work maybe in a shark bite fitting and could get you through a repair at least temporarily for a weekend so you could at least have your water back on until you could get a professional plumber to come out to your home Basically, those are the differences between them. Again, it's just a matter of preference and what you like. Uh, one other thing I'd like to point out is that you, if you have OCD like I do, if you are continually obsessed with how things look, uh, and, and plumbers, the term plumber comes from the term plum, and plum means usually straight or plum. Uh, when you see a house plumbed with pecs, I look down the line in a basement and all I see is a wavy line doing this where if somebody knows what they're doing with copper they can make that stuff look perfectly straight all the way down it's a little more appealing to the eye to see the copper now if you're gonna finish your basement you're never gonna see it anyways then I guess it doesn't matter uh, again so that's that's basically the differences between them um, these videos have been you know done plenty of times copper versus you know uh, packs I thought I'd just go ahead and give you my opinion on that. And thanks for joining us today. Please don't forget to subscribe down below. It does help us to keep bringing you this useful content. You folks have a good day.